get ready to load. And look at this. Boy, my glad our producer, Tom Dawson, doesn't have to pick a butt long shot from this field. Sewickley is 5 to 1. Proper Reality is 2 to 1. Once Wild is 7 to 2. Dancing Spree is 2 to 1 with a little less than $3,000 more bet on him to win than Proper Reality. And Mr. Nickerson, the only three year old in this group, is at 3 to 1. It is a very classy field. You saw Chelsea talking about Sewickley winning the fall, high weight, and more than $318,000. Prop Reality, the richest money earner in the field, will break from the two hole, is already in. Once while the three, you heard that story, is getting ready to go in as Dave Johnson at the top of the stands is going to be ready to call this 50th running of the historic Vosburg Sprint. Dave? Boy, talk about competitive. Five of them with the long shot now at six to one and the favorite at two. Mr. Nickerson, the only three year old, is moving into line and we're about set for the start. The stakes and track record uh, about a minute 20 and 2 and they're off. From between horses once wild as expected to the front by ahead Mr. Nickerson now up to challenge on the outside. Mr. Nickerson on the outside and at the rail once wild again takes command with Pat Day in the irons. It's four and a half lengths farther back to the second flank with Sewickley along the inside third by ahead. Proper reality is between horses fourth and dancing spree at the back of the pack as the quintet moves down the back stretch. The first quarter in 22 and two. Now go around the far turn on the inside once wild battling with Mr. Nickerson the three apart. It's five lengths farther back. Swickley at the rail is racing third ahead. Proper reality is next and then five back to the favorite dancing spree. Moving to the top of the stretch. It's still once wild who's led from the start but as you see on the outside Mr. Nickerson is right there in challenging and here come the two challengers out in the middle of the racetrack. Proper reality on the far far outside the half in 44 and 4. Now straightening away in the stretch at the rail it's still once wild with uh, Mr. Nickerson between horses. So Wickley is coming on a closer third. Three of them across the track and down the stretch they come. Here comes So Wickley on the outside with Randy Romero taking the lead by ahead. Once wild at the rail is second. Mr. Nickerson's third. So Wickley takes the Bosberg by a length. Written by Randy Romero who won this race last year with mining. Time on the board one minute 23 seconds. All right Dave So Wickley the unofficial winner. The big story may have been who did not win though. The two favorites, Dancing Spree and Pop Reality, did not run well at all, it looked like today. And there's got to be quite a question as they think about a Breeders' Cup sprint. So quickly, with a five pound weight break coming off the win in the fall, high weight looked awfully good today in the Vosburg sprint, our unofficial winner. We'll be right back to make it official for you at Belmont in New York. Actually, in the Vosburg, so quickly first, once while second, Mr. Nickerson third in 123. And there you see Randy Romero, who won the Vosburg last year on mining for the Phipps family, has won it for Robert Evans and trainer Scotty Schulhofer with Sue Eckley. Let's take a look at how he upset the two big favorites here, Dancing Spree and Proper Reality. Dave? Coming to the top of the stretch, on the inside is Once Wild with Pat Day, who set the early fractions. On the outside, the three-year-old Mr. Nickerson. And then Sewickley lurking in third at the rail and proper reality on the outside fourth. The favorite dancing spree was far back. Past the top of the stretch, the quarter pole. And as you see, Once Wild, who's trying to take it wire to wire, Pat Day aboard, saving some ground. Looks like he's got a little bit left. On the outside of him is Mr. Nickerson, but here comes Sewickley who was uh, grinding it out, moving on the outside with some urging by Randy Romero. It looked like uh, once while it was going to be tough to run down. And this horse, so quickly wins them all the same way, coming from about fifth or sixth in the field to win it by a length and a quarter, just like he won the fall high weight and the Tom Fool. But the inquiry sign appears on the totalizator board, Chris. That it does, Dave. The number flashing the three is for the second place horse once while does not affect the winner so quickly as Randy Romero is taking his tack off and is going to weigh in here now. We didn't see anything really in our replay. We'll take another look for you. So quickly looks like he will not be threatened, but the question seems to be about the second place horse once wild. We do understand, by the way, that so quickly is not Breeders' Cup eligible. So we'll uh, follow that story up for you, too, and we come back and talk with the winners of the Vosburgh Stakes. Stay with us. First, Scotty, and a congratulations again on Crypto Clarence's big run against Easy Gore, finishing second in the Gold Cup. Today, your horse was the longest price on the board. You said that surprised you. Yes, it surprised me. He beat most of these horses last uh, couple of weeks ago, and I 
couldn't understand why he was such a long price. Seven eighths a mile is a better distance than three quarters for him, but I guess the public didn't think so. He's not Breeders' Cup eligible. Will you make him eligible with a late payment? I, Mr. Evans seems to think that he might. He, he's he's got to think it over pretty good, he said. All right. Randy, quite a ride. Looked like, uh, again, he did it just like he did in the fall highway. Yeah, he's a neat little horse to ride. You just bide your time, and when you want on that, just ask him, and he comes running. He's a neat little horse to handle and does everything right. How do you think he'll stand up against the kind of competition you'd face at Gulfstream if you decide to pay the late uh, $100,000 plus fee? Well, he'd probably be running with these kind of horses right here, and he's handling them really well, so I wouldn't be scared of him. The inquiry sign was taken down quickly. No change, by the way. Once Wild will stay second in this. The five who claimed against him finish third. That's Mr. Nickerson and the two favorites on the board. Proper reality and dancing spree. Well, they finished uh, at the end there. Again, Scotty, Randy, congratulations to both of you. Hope to see you at Gulfstream Park for Breeders' Cup Day. Thank you, Chris. All Thank right, you. congratulations. Let's take a look now at the official prices. So quickly, oh, look at this. Scotty's smiling even more. $14, $580 and $4.123 the time for the seven furlongs. Once Wild, $5 and $3.40. Mr. Mr. Nickerson, $3.40, and uh, winding up the field, I mentioned Pop Reality and Dancing Spree, the two favorites, running fourth and fifth in our five-horse field for the Vosburgh.